Hey, Ron. How are you doing, Ron? How was your Tuesday? Who else we got? Any other goobers? Turbo hot already? Oh. Do you not have these tears? It just doesn't crank high enough. Hi, Bionic. What's up? How are you, gamer? Got six fans going. Oh. Do you not have like a like a window AC unit or anything? Crisp, humid as hell, 80 degree weather. Oh, dude, in fucking April. Yeah, I'm similarly not looking forward to it getting a lot hotter here, too. Even if I offer to pay the bill. Ooh. That's miserable, Ron. I fucking hate the heat. Hope it cools down for you real fast. During the summer back in my house, because my, my mom also wouldn't run the AC ever, uh, I would just become nocturnal during the summer because there was, like, no other way for me to fucking survive. Hated that shit. Hated that so much. Oh. 
Hello Gamer. It looks tacky. <laughs> Ugh. Hope you can get out of there eventually, Ron. You're right. If there's a way to like I see by like this Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's what we like to hear. Hey Logins, how's it going? How are you doing, gamer? Oh, bro. Hey JJ, it's been a minute. How are you? Hey, you're in the right. Oh. Big chillin' today. That's really good to hear. Big chillin' is good. Vimin, Gaben, hell yeah.
Where would I have saved? Uh, I feel like I would have put it here. scanning. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I Where in the fuck did I put that? I have to go search for a fucking file. Give me a sec. Where would Gar put? I thought I knew where I put. Oh. Gotta be in here, right? Yeah, here it is. There it is. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go, that's what I... Um, um. More shall gather. Oh More shit! More shall enter the fray. Oh my gosh! It's my favorite dinosaur kisser. The number one dinosaur kisser. Hi, Harpus. How are you? How was your How was your dinosaur kissing? Welcome on in, Raiders. Did you also enjoy your dinosaur kissing? Did you ever get owned? I watched. I watched like from the beginning of the stream until I had to go like get ready for stuff and like Meowpy got owned a bunch but you seemed you seemed fine you were chilling yeah I can smooch you I can smooch you Harvest. give you a real good smooch you got exploded oh, by a revenge dino drama oh my god there's drama there's a whole story wow crazy I hope you had fun though that, that looked like a fucking blast anyways hello raiders welcome on in you don't know me. My name's Garu. I am a soft, fluffy maned dragon. I am a artist. Sometimes I play video games. I'm doing a lot of art lately. Uh, today, uh, I was just gonna get started painting over this little, this little doodle of a gar dragon. I've not drawn a gar dragon in a hot minute. Holy cozy vibes in here. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, I've done a fair bit of. And cozying the the situation. There was tons of dino drama. That's kind of sick, though. Not gonna lie. Uh, let me let me show you guys around. What kind of pastries you got in here? Um, lots of granola bars. That's not really a pastry, but that's that's my favorite. 
You have a nibble of my dragon. Is that going to cause dino drama? I hope not. Anyways, uh, let me show you guys some cool, cool dragonly art stuff. Uh, what can I, what can I pull up for you? Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's, let's go see what, what gar art stuff I can show you. This, this is the, we were drawing a buff wolf guy a couple days ago. Uh, I always like showing off the old art that I did for Morgus's birthday. Where's my Morgus birthday art? Morgus birthday art. Morgus birthday art. There we go. Yeah, this is the this is the kind of stuff that that I'm into. I draw funny creatures. Sometimes we're doing painting. Sometimes we're doing uh, sketching. Sometimes we're playing video games. I'm a I'm a premier uh, video game enjoyer. Uh, Dota Two being my favorite favorite video game of choice. Uh, spent a lot of time teaching and coaching people in that, uh, dabbled in a lot of other goofy things too. Uh, one of my more recent ones that was a fucking blast was, uh, playing through Oblivion while reading a, uh, children's Minecraft novel. Uh, and that was fucking great because there was this incredible intersection of children's minecraft novel and oblivion where uh in the children's minecraft novel our our protagonist character is uh called game night 999 very important uh and his father is they're they're basically like isekai into minecraft i still have the book right here we haven't finished it yet i want to i want to finish that at some point reading that on stream uh they're basically isekai into minecraft uh, and also, this is like the fourth book in the series or something. I didn't know that when I purchased it for the, the subathon event that I was using it for. But anyways, they're, they're in Minecraft. Uh, so their, their father is in the game with them. And their father's uh, username in the game is uh, Monkey Pants, followed by like some Monkey Pants 271 or something. Uh, and what was incredible is like as I was reading, so I was I was doing like a donation stream marathon thing, and every time I got a donation, I was reading more pages of this book. Uh, and as I was reading through a page that like mentioned uh, monkey pants, we then like went into like a random shop in like some like snowy town in like northern area of Oblivion, and I just like talked to the NPCs there because I was having a really good time doing the. Uh, whatever the fuck it's called, the, like, little speech mini game where you get people to like you. I had a lot of time doing that. It became colloquially known as the Riz Wheel in my chat. Uh, I was having a lot of fun doing the Riz Wheel mini game. So anyways, I was running around just trying to find people that I could Riz up and, and, and do this, this Riz Wheel mini game with until they lo adored me. Um, so I go to this shop, and in this shop, there's a fucking item in this guy's inventory that makes you jump higher or because it like boosts your acrobatics level or whatever. And it's called fucking monkey pants, dude. It was it was so fucking meta. It was so insane. I lost my fucking shit, dude. Holy fuck. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's sort of what we're about here. Do some goofing, do some gaming. If you've been around uh, with Meowpy and Harbus for a hot minute, you might have seen me uh, do stuff with them at one point. I, I got to do uh, a bit of uh, Dark and Darker when I was in beta with uh, those two. I've done uh, a good assortment of different games with Meowpy. Dark and Darker was such a blast, dude. Anyways, what I'm currently doing right now is like figuring out what funky little colors I want to do to do some like goofy abstract painting on this uh over this little gar that I've drawn that's like I'm like mostly okay with that, I think cool <sighs> 
You're such a Garyu fan. Oh, well, I appreciate you, gamer. All right, so we've got our funny little palette here. We can we can name our layers. Palette. Oh, put that over here. Now we're gonna start uh doing our silly little painting. I don't do a lot of painting, uh, but that's what what we're here for today is the is the silly the silly painting. We're gonna see uh, what we can do. It's been a minute since I've drawn my OC, so that's what uh the plan is here today. So I'm curious because I've just I've also just been experimenting with like new new funny Photoshop text. So if I sampled, oh, it does fucking give me the color. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, neat. Neat, neat. Uh, so we're gonna do a goofy little thing that I have not actually, like, really done before. Which is, uh... Using... What the fuck is this even called? Proof colors? Using, using a proof to, uh, paint in... Uh... Actually, you know, it's probably smarter than doing that. Uh, using a proof to paint in grayscale, but it's actually already in color, which is like nuts. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and anybody who was here, if you guys don't already know Harvest and Meowpy, you should go fucking give them turbo follows. They're both very sick. Very epic gamers. Oh. Alright. Ba 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 ba. Give me this for the sake of making these slightly more visible i'm doing that cool that works for me now give me the funny let me start painting so give me this funny and give me actually this funny and that funny. And then we've got all of our like midtones and half tones and everything. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. Do I have any idea what I'm doing? No. Is that important? Also no. See, the important thing about doing art is to just fucking take a deep breath and cope. One of the one of the primary uh art phases is what i what i like to refer to as the the unfucking phase that that comes at the end so you don't have to be precious about making anything look good in the beginning because you can always just be like well i haven't gotten to the unfucking phase yet so everything's allowed to look fucked because you're you're gonna get to the unfucking phase at the end, and that's that's where it all comes together, baby. How are you guys doing though? Tell me about your week. I do a lot of uh, I like to chat and like just talk about stuff while I'm while I'm doodling and drawing in here. So I would love to hear about what you guys have going on. What's the sitch? How's your April been? Do you got exciting things going on? You going to Visit any places? You're gonna do any cool things? I have a convention coming up that I'm going to Furry Weekend Atlanta. If you guys know the one, it's uh gonna be pretty exciting. I think I am looking forward to it a lot. I started Final Fantasy X again, and what's weird is there's this language you can learn with collectibles and if you make a new save you can borrow your old saves collectibles and understand the secret language this playthrough that sounds pretty fucking dope y'all are going for that one i are going to do that one i think carl's trying to finish his suit head for it oh, i saw them working on that 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 looks like it's going to be so cool i also have a friend who's going who's been constructing their own suit and like it's been such a fucking hilarious process to watch them go through uh Cause they're like, so they, they have their own CNC machine and they're like a machinist by trade. So they've been, uh, like <laughs> constructing their suit. Like it's a fucking mech 
uh, which I have had such a fun time, like, watching and also just teasing them about. Because they've got, they've, like, built all of these contraptions into it. It's got, like, like, the ears are, are like, articulated. Uh, all, the, the teeth are printed out of fucking, like, <laughs> aluminum. So they're all, they're all metal and they're gonna, they're gonna clack. Like, really fucking, they, they wanted to make sure that if they, if they chomp their mouth closed, it makes, like, a really good snap. Uh, yeah, Armored Core Kitimer. It's gonna be pretty fucking sick. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Carl if they end up finishing that in time. That'd be cool. I should have my fursuit done by, uh, supposedly by MFF this year. We'll see. You heard Chomp? Yeah. Evangelion kit? Possibly. Possibly, possibly. Oh. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Your partial is finished, getting shipped this week. Oh, is it Rue? Like Rue, Rue partial? Is it Arum, Arum partial? Kids played out an ooging. Who's gonna be? Yeah, no. Are you are you the are you the alter are all the alternate pilot? Right? Are are we rolling you up on the hospital bed to convince Kit to get in the get in the mech? It is. Oh, dude, that's so exciting! I literally have your uh, FA page pulled up in a tab right now because I was like, you know what? I want to draw more like outfits on characters, and you've got like so much fresh drip you're fucking you're dripped out meowfy so i was gonna use your pages inspo for that absolutely dripped out hey yeah, welcome on in everybody get get cozy grab a, a hot mug of uh hot chocolate the only good drink hot coffee doesn't count I don't like coffee. Do you guys like coffee? Are you coffee enjoyers? I am in a cafe. There is probably a lot of coffee in here, but it's not for me. You guys can have it. Tea? I don't I I don't know if I've ever really enjoyed tea. I've had some tea, but uh never never anything that I was like super super stoked about or anything. What about apple cider? I don't know if I've ever had, like, fresh apple cider. Isn't it always fizzy, though? I don't like fizzy. I'm not an enjoyer of fizzy. You like coffee, Z? Hi, ghoul. What's up? Thank you again for the raid, Harvest. I appreciate it a lot. Hot apple cider isn't carbonated? Oh, shit. Okay. That makes it sound a lot more appealing. Mocha too. I don't think I've ever had that either. You know what I've had once that I want to try again sometime because I feel like I just picked like a bad flavor. I've had boba tea once and I think it was at a furry convention and like whatever the fuck flavor I got it was just super gross. Uh, and I, I've never had it more than once so I don't actually recall what my opinion of the like tapioca balls was. <sighs> just hot chocolate and coffee i feel like i could maybe be sold on coffee if i like I, again i have a lot of people who are like I have, a, I have a friend who's a barista who convinces me that like the coffee they make would make me like coffee and i believe it because the only coffee that i've ever had is like parents made a brew in their like ancient coffee machine of like some like morning Dunkin Donuts brand coffee. I sipped that. Uh that shit tasted awful. And the other time I've had coffee was uh friend ordered me one. It's funny that the both times I've had coffee it's from Dunkin Donuts. Friend ordered me one in a Dunkin Donuts drive-through the way that they like it and it was just like this really really massive plastic cup and the contents of it was just like mostly 
caramel, a fuck ton of sugar, a fuck ton of milk, and then like somewhere in this mess, uh, oh, and a fuck ton of ice too. And somewhere in this mess, there is coffee. But it was like so much that like I like taking a single sip, you could like taste the like you could feel the the fucking granules of sugar just fucking like running over your tongue. It was very unpleasant. I did not like that at all. So those are both of my coffee experiences. So uh, that is why coffee does not rank particularly highly for me. Never had boba tea. It seems cool. I'll have to try it sometime. Dunkin' Donuts coffee pour sold. I feed sugar and sugar and sugar and sugar. Yeah, usually I'm, like, into sugar, but, uh, I was not for this. This was pretty abysmal. It was pretty bad. Gotta send that to me. I will, I will check it out later. Sugar with a hint of coffee. You know, I'm, like, usually really into sugar. That's why, I think that's a big part of why I like granola bars, is that I am a... I am a creature that is that is fueled primarily based off of uh sugar based goods and 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 the like. But so woe woe onto ye who fucking messes up my my sugar intake, dude. Like my goddamn friend Hanu, dude. Oh my god. How many of you have have been here long enough to know the 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 like five part Hanu character assassination arc that I went on uh because they fucked up my granola bar at uh at last year's FWA. I pretty that was yeah, I'm pretty sure that was last year's FWA that that happened at. If you guys don't know that story, I will I'll, I'll retell it for you. Uh so here I am just a a silly little dragon at at a convention. And as always, I pack myself an, an assortment of, of granola bars to snack on for the duration of the con, because that's, that, that's how I survive. I'm, I'm fueled by these granola bars. They maintain the integrity of my existence, you know? So, uh, so I've got these on me, and my, my, my friend Hanu, who at this point was only considering their vernidness. They were at at this point, this was still questing beast Hanu. Uh they they have two OCs. Very different, very different. Anyway, so there there's this creature Hanu. And they they approach me and may they they humbly request to have one of my granola bars because they're famished and this little one HP creature is just at, miserable, starving, about about to about to fade away. So I, the, the generous soul that I am, uh, bequeath to them one of my delicious Nature Valley, uh, Nature Valley Oats and Honey Granola Bars, which is the icon of my fucking subscription badge on Twitch. Thank you for the follow, by the way, bat heart emoji. Thank you. Uh, I, I bestow upon them this mighty gift that they may survive. Uh, so they take it and they did. They're they're not innocent. They did don't let them convince you. Um so they take this granola bar and I have held like they're they're my friend, so I don't know how they have not attended one of these or perhaps they they frivolously ignored the entire the entire seminar but i i have long been uh the host of uh my own little granola bar seminar on how to open and consume a nature valley oats and honey granola bar without creating any crumbs and consuming the entirety of the contents of the packaging uh follow orion uh and I, I, I have held seminars on this. I have, uh, there's a whole process. It's very simple. I've taught it many a time. And, I, and somehow, 
despite my teachings, despite my, my, my sagely wisdom that I've, I've bestowed upon all of my friends, uh, they take this Nature Valley bar and immediately they begin to sin. They begin to commit acts against God with this granola bar. I did make a YouTube video about it, yeah. Uh, so rather than like opening the granola bar in the in the the Garu fashion, the the televised, uh, lectured fashion of opening it in a way that doesn't fuck you, uh, they just grab one of the fucking seams at the top and they start trying to like vertically tear it open. Which is a, that's a critical error, gamers. That is, that is a critical error. You cannot do that. Don't do that. Critical error. Very, 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 uh, beginner's mistake. Uh, so they try fucking tearing it open from this horrifying, horrifying, horrible angle. And of course it doesn't, it doesn't tear because the seal on these things is like really weird. Where they put glue is really weird. Where they cold seal the packaging is really weird. And they're just not going to open very well if you try and tear them open like that. But Hanu. Hanu persists. So they just start applying more and more and more force. Until. The atrocity happens. Where uh, eventually. The, uh, the force that they have applied. Suddenly. All at once tears open the packaging. But they aren't ready for it. They haven't braced. They're they're a small, meek, flimsy little creature. And they have not braced to to coordinate their their very lacking dexterity fingers to to compensate for this sudden release of pressure. So what happens? They just fucking shotgun the contents of this fucking Nature Valley bar. Fucking everywhere, dude. I watch it happen. Falling to my knees in slow motion. The, the fucking bwomp noise of the, the fucking uh, Inception soundtrack playing in the background. Slow zoom. On the 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 slow mo tearing open Nature Valley bar packaging, incredibly low, echoing bass thump of big fat granola bar chunks falling and hitting the ground. Boom! Tragedy. And then they proceed to like fucking like leave all the crumbs everywhere. They made such a fucking mess, and I made I fucking bullied them about it so much. I was like, dude, you have to clean that up. One, I give you this granola bar, and you fucking shotgun half of it across the room. Th those were valuable calories. I I I could have survived days off of that. Uh exactly right, exactly. Uh so yeah, for those of you who uh, haven't been here before, and uh, perhaps need a need a refresher course, or just the uh, the primer on how to open Nature Valley uh, oats and honey granola bars, uh, yeah, I'm I'm very easily bribed with granola bars. You could buy me a box of granola bars, and I would we we could be best friends. Um, so. We've got, uh, we, we, you've, you've got your Nature Valley Oats and Honey Granola Bar, right? Okay. That's step one. What you have to do with it is before you even consider opening it, right? It was more of a grenade bar, pretty much. Before you even consider opening the granola bar, what you have to do is you break it into thirds, right? Okay. So you've got, you've got the granola bar. And you, you take, you like take it, hold it in your hands and using your thumbs, you apply pressure at like the one third point and the two thirds point. And like, so at the one third point, you apply pressure and you flex it. You can feel both the bars break inside the packaging. You go to the two thirds point, 
flex, break it. Now you've got six little bite-sized pieces of granola bar, but it's still contained within the packaging, okay? Then you find a you find a, a surface to consume your granola bar on. You set your granola bar down on this surface, flush, flat, flat as can be. Then you flip it over so that the uh, the little flap, the seal on the back where the nutrition facts are, is facing upward. You flip that little flap open, and you go to either end, and you like you pinch that flap, and then you pinch the like the other side, and you slowly open it like it's a bag of potato chips, right? Like you you gently open it. You do not jerk. You do not apply a fuck ton of force so that it like suddenly snaps out of your hands. You just gently open it. And then once you've got both sides opened in the potato chip bag fashion, and then then you like slowly peel apart the flap because the flap has like two two seams. So you you peel it apart and you peel it down the middle. And then once you've opened the packaging like that, you have now created for yourself a little uh, container, a little a little satisfying little placemat that has all of the contents of your granola bar in it. And since you've already broken it up into six bite-sized chunks, you can just reach in, take out a chunk, give it a little, give it a little tap or a little shake if it has any like visible debris on it that you think is going to fall off before it gets to your mouth. You eat all of your chunks, and then there's going to be a little bit of like crumbs left in the container. But because you've set this up so well, you can like fold the you can fold the little wrapper like in on itself. And that just makes uh, like a nice shoot and you can just lift that up and like immediately pour all of the crumbs directly onto your tongue. It works perfectly every time you will consume the entirety of the Nature Valley oats and honey granola bar contents without making any mess or losing any crumbs. That's the strat. It's the pro strat. Hanu claws are not sharp. No, they're merely an aesthetic. They're they're cosmetics. They they do not actually give you any in-game stat buffs. Exclusively cosmetic. Yeah, yours are also just cosmetic. Hey X, what's up? How are you doing? Have you had any good snacks yet today? I'm a big proponent of uh, having good snacks. You have to have at least like one good snack a day. Good snacks are critical, critical. Gives you the good brain juices, keeps all of your, keeps all of your chakras in balance, dude. Very important, very important. Nearly 2 a.m.? That hasn't stopped me. What's your favorite snack, chat? What's your, what's your go-to I could... I could evaporate multiple of these at any given time if I did not have the willpower to stop myself. What is, what is that for you guys? Hi, Fade. How are you? Sour Skittles. Oh, yeah, I have. I have many a time been in the uh, I have uh, I have obliterated the, the roof of my mouth via via Sour Skittles. I've, I've done that far too many times. What kind of chocolate fade? What kind? What kind? What kind? Goldfish? What flavor? Like, like ch standard orange cheddar flavor? What flavor? What kind, Meowpy? Anything usually either fresh fruit, vegetables, or something chip-like? I see, I see. Riot and I pretty routinely go through like strawberries pretty fucking fast. Oh, no Mama Wolf, thanks for the follow. Come on in, gamer. Can we get an evil handshake emote? That'd be pretty good. 
Yeah, I should make one of those. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Pringles or Sensations Crisps? What flavor Pringles? Gotta eat strawberries fast so they get ick. It's true. They go... Strawberries fucking get bad so fast. Regular is fine. I can't buy it or I'll eat it by the handful. Dude, okay. Have you... Okay, Meow P. Confess, Meow P. Confess your sins to me. I promise I won't tell anybody except for all of the people on the internet who I will immediately tell. Uh, have you ever gotten one of the, like... One of those, like, fucking... Like this... Uh containers of of goldfish where it like opens up like like this at the front and it's like a whole ass fucking like massive massive box and you just like uh you tip this over directly into the meowpenheimer and you you just consume goldfish have you done that the big cartons yeah have you have you done this before have you just just poured directly into the meowpenheimer yes that's you <laughs> good i I, res I respect that as, as as a fellow snack fiend i respect that a lot strawberries dipped in dark belgian chocolate oh oh yeah that's pretty fucking good Strawberries dipped in fucking like anything, dude. Mozart ball for you. Is that a type of chocolate? What is that, X? What is that? Is that mozzarella cheese? Is that a type of chocolate? I, I am not a knower. Hell yeah, meow feet. Sharing bag for sharing between myself and I. Sour cream Pringles. I can respect it. I can respect it. It's the balls of M Mozart. What does that mean? Huh? Small round sugar convection made of pistachio marzipan. No good. That is covered with dark chocolate. Okay, that is nowhere near what I was going to get, but that sounds very good. Also, hi, Morgus. What is, what is your answer to my question, Morgus? What is your, like, favorite snack to the point that you don't let yourself buy it because if it exists in the proximity of you you will it, you will feverishly in in a diluted state uh just fucking evaporate it what what is that what is that for you where you go into a fugue state and you just consume all of it <laughs> marzipan's one of them I don't know if I know what marzipan is. Damn, I guess I can't really name a single thing. Are there multiple or are you just are you just saying you you're you have advanced advanced wyvern willpower and you don't get uh you don't go psycho for some food. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Riot. Lucernic is going to cry. You're going to you're going to bring people to tears. At FWA with your homemade cookies. Berries. Berries are cool. I don't like when the Pringles are all smashed up and just crumbs. Hell yeah. That fucking... You know what? I'd still eat them. I'd consume. No, I certainly don't. I just like salty potato eat chocolatey sweet stuff and nothing like that survives for very long. Yeah. I can, I, I'm just, if it, if it's very easy to eat and it's already like pre-made food and there's no steps required to consume it, you just like open the contents, open the packaging and eat it. I, if it's food like that, I will probably, I will probably eat it embarrassingly quickly. Especially if crispy, hell yeah. Oh, can we to roll up with pretzels and brownies for everybody? Dude. The fucking the big I the big Mondo pretzels that people ordered at that that one restaurant we went to, logins those were so those were so good. I bet yours are gonna be so much better. Cheese it's hi Misty. What flavor cheese it's though? Like generic cheese it's or like the 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 white cheddar ones? 
I put chocolate into the fridge. Crispy at first and it melts in your mouth. Oh, yeah, the, the nice chocolate crunch, dude. Oh, the, the, the texture sensation of, like, crunching chocolate is so good. It's why uh, when, whenever we use, like, baking chocolate, uh, I, I enjoy, uh, like, cutting through it with a knife. The, the, the crunch is very, very satisfying. What is that X? I, all of all of these syllables mean nothing to me. Magic world, the plain ones, but I like white cheddar ones, the spicy ones, the whole grain ones too. Whole grain. I don't know if I've ever had a whole grain cheese. It. Mars pan is basically a confection consisting primarily of sugar and almond. Interesting. I don't like so maybe it's your it, maybe it's just like almond flavor stuff. But like I don't really like almonds by themselves. They're just like very, they're very dry. The flavor is fine, but I, I, I would never eat like a bunch of almonds because it's like I eat like a few almonds and then my entire mouth feels like a fucking desert wasteland. We're getting a chocolate in your pocket and it's like literally all melts and it's stuck to the wrapper. <laughs> uh, when I came home from my trip in uh, January, I think it was. Uh, my roommate hid a bunch of little, little, like, individually wrapped Kit Kats around as, like, fucking treats for me to discover as I went back around the house after my trip. Uh, and one of the ones that they put was on top of one of the lamps in my room, and I did not find that shit for, like, a week and a half or something. At which point it had like melted, resolidified, melted, resolidified like every single fucking day <laughs> because I, I didn't see it. It was the fucking it was like I have a lamp that uh, it's like an LED lamp. So it's flat on the top and it was flat. It was like on top of that. And I don't ever go over to turn it on. I like I press the other. It has a little remote. I press the button. I still ate it. <laughs> if there if there was any doubt that I still ate it, uh let me let me clear that up. Still ate it. Ugh. French style pancakes, crepes. Pancakes are really good. Pancakes are just oh a good like buttermilk pancake, dude. Put some chocolate chips with it. Hell yeah. Pretty much, kid. That's me. That's how it goes. Chocolate covered coffee beans are amazing. I don't think I've ever eaten a coffee bean. To be fair, I don't even think I've ever seen a coffee bean in real life. Do people like get those? Do you guys know anybody that like see one of the things that I think I enjoy the most about people who are really into coffee is the people that have the like the fucking YouTuber style, incredibly elaborate setup. We've got all this like really nice uh, wood countertops and uh, fucking like natural bright white lighting and like uh, granite countertop too. And then we've got little plants and I've, I've got my crazy expensive camera and I use all of this to like show me making the most high effort singular cup of coffee you known to man. And like that looks so fun, looks so good get coffee beans all the time is that like like just to eat or is that because i didn't i didn't know that that was a thing like is that like do, can you snack on them or do you like put them in like a grinder thing and like make your own coffee that's your husband do they do, do they do they have the whole fucking like crazy oh yeah here's my like volumetric flask for measuring the exact blah 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 of my of the, i have to have the right ph level of each bean or i will perish use them in a grinder that's cool as fuck dude i bet it smells really nice 200 dollar needle whisk to aerate the grind yeah the the like dude the, i don't know I, I love when people get like really into like hobby shit like that because that I, I don't know i just really love when people embrace like here's my fucking thing and i'm very invested in it in the entire setup sometimes put glamour shots on insta fuck yeah hell yeah i have salt in our thin not as thin as the crazy still thin also you make too many you can cut them and put them into a soup interesting hi viral what's up 
There's a thunderstorm outside. Do you like storms? Storms slash storm watching. Not here. We get tornadoes. Oh, spooky. All right. Lose the ability to criticize the cost of all these hobbies by default. That's fair. Chocolate covered coffee beans, which are, oh, that sounds really nice. How latte art happens. I imagine they have to use like a very particular type of like heavy cream or something. get paranoid when there's a storm oh well i hope i hope that there is no extenuating storm related stuff for you are divisive not as much like licorice i don't like licorice i've i've never enjoyed licorice i always got so fucking sad whenever i got fucking like twizzlers in my halloween candy dude fuck twizzlers you can have all of my twizzlers Hated that shit. Is chocolate based? I really enjoy chocolate, but it doesn't. I my body does not. I pretty much always will have pretty heavy acne breakouts if I decide to partake in chocolate. Not sure why, but uh, very consistent. Barter candy with your brother. Hell yeah. You want to know what's something that I fucking, like, hated, dude? I hated the fucking, like, I remember seeing it on the news. And the only time I ever watched the news was when it was on in my kitchen. So it had to be, like, when I was, like, in high school or something. But I hated the, there was, like, a fucking trend that went around of, like, parents being, like, oh, watch this video that's this funny video of me, like, convincing my child that i ate all of their halloween candy and then they get really upset and i'm like dude like <laughs> that's such a piece of shit thing to do like wa watch me watch me traumatize my child haha -ha. i'm sure they're i'm sure that their brain is developed enough for them to understand the concept of this being a joke and that it won't uh damage their trust in me as their parent ha 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 Yeah, I that shit was so cringe, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Very big, not a fan of that. Oh, go, go, go. All right. Against my will, ads will start up in a minute, so I'll probably use that as an opportunity to go run to the bathroom, grab some more water or something. If you've stuck around this long and you're from the raid, I really appreciate it. If you've enjoyed vibing with me, feel free to follow. Here every week. Agile incoming. Not for you. You have a you have a little sub badge. You will you will be free. You will be un unburdened and unbothered by by agile. 
Your parents didn't even let you trick or treat? That's so fucked up. That's tragic. All right, agile begin. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Be right, Bark. Ah. More shall gather, more shall enter the fray. Right. Getting a little bit quirky. Oh, Linnea. Hello, gamer. How are you? How was your stream? What'd you get up to? What's poppin'? How are you? What were you playing? More for honor it was great. Fuck yeah. Did you schwin? Are you are you winner? Winner is you. Oh, assaulted by water. Big wetted. Ba 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 ba. You have a cinnamon bun? Cinnamon buns are sick, dude. It's like one of my favorite things to bake, I think. I'm a cinnamon bun enjoyer for sure.
learn how to make those from scratch. That's how I make them. Yeast and all. They're really fun. I highly recommend it. It's a very, very fun baking project. They're really tasty too, but they're so fucking dense. They're so good. So good. You've told your ice cream sandwich experience before? What's your ice cream sandwich experience? I'm interested. I'm invested. Oh, catch you later, X. Have a good schnooze. Thanks for hanging out. Not toast and ice cream sandwich put together? Huh? Toast and ice cream? Huh? Why would you have toast? Huh? Huh? What? What? You thought that's what an ice cream sandwich was? Oh no. How you have been misled. Well, hopefully the power won't go out viral. I'll hope for you. I haven't had a storm where the power went out in a hot minute here. Someone crashing a power line during a storm, that's fair. Oh, enjoy buying ice cream when I hope I hope they have all the flavors you want. When was the last time you guys like went to like when was the last time you had ice cream from an ice cream truck actual ice cream truck ice cream truck ice cream Oh, not even once in your life? Oh, dang. You've never got an ice cream truck ice cream? Yeah, food truck, pretty pog. If there are any at uh, FWA, we'll have to get you some, right?
granola bar truck. That would be a treat just for me, dude. Oh, the hair particles. CPU is not happy. There's a lot of things you can do in Blender that will make your computer very grumpy. Blender's got that crazy resource usage. Give your CPU more thermal phase. Yeah, CPUs eat thermal phase. Got to keep it well fed. A wowga. Hi, Burb. How are you? How's it going, gamer? Is it's marshmallow? Uh, yeah, that's that's like a joke. That's how you destroy your computer. That is, we are breaking this computer as a bit. Spice cake? What's spice cake? Tell me about spice cake. Welcome back. Oh, your anonymous with a tier three for Meowthie. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate the generosity. Like every every cent is very life changing for me because this is my whole this is my whole gig. So. I really do super appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now you got your Garyu heart emote. Hell yeah. Cinnamon bun is gone. Did you enjoy devouring? Did you have a good cinnamon bun pumping experience all right give me some so this is current but this let's get uh...
course on wheat is. Uh, oh shit, back. and another oh six months of tier one. Appreciated. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, gamer. I super appreciate it. Enjoy that Juno you know, fade, if you will. Hell yeah. Very generous. Thank you guys. Just got back at your computer. You just got bark. Well, you're now you're bark and you have six months of gar sub. To enjoy. Hell yeah. This is gonna look so funky when I change back to color, dude. I'm excited to see it, but I'm also terrified because it's gonna look very wonk. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. Welcome back. Oh Your my gosh! Loyalty is 20 tier 1 subs? Holy crap! <laughs> thank you so much! Oh, thank you, Anonymous. If you guys got a gift sub from Anonymous, say thank you in chat. I really appreciate the generosity, gamer. It means a lot to me. Whoever it is, big, big, big heart emoji to you. What a gamer. Yeah. Sheesh. Sheesh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Makes things a lot less stressful for me. More than I can communicate on stream, so thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. If I can uh, get this painting to look at least somewhat decent, uh, I'm hoping that I can start trying to do headshots like this for people on stream, maybe. Uh, and leverage this as a way to be able to uh, work on uh, oh, work on safe for work art on stream and not feel like I have to end streams early. Because like what I've been doing recently, thank you again for the follow, Canon. What I've been doing recently is I've been having to end streams early because I have been on that bill grind. Uh, and lately, most of my art that pays the bills is not safe for work. So I've been ending stream early to go work on that. So generosity like that really means a lot to me because it gives me more, more leeway to feel okay about continuing to stream and hang out with you guys. So it really means a lot to me, thank you. Not really sure what I'm doing right now, but I am, I am doing. I don't really know how to paint. So that's why we we hope and we cope and we we do what we can. Ryan, wonderful work you got there. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. I'm I'm trying. 
it's gonna look really crazy so right now it's in grayscale but this is actually just a what's what's called a proof so it's it's modifying all of the colors by the end it should actually end up being like a painting in like a bunch of pretty sunset colors it's either gonna look really cool or it's gonna look fucking atrocious and you will not be able to gaze upon it without taking psychic damage and i'm just really hoping that it ends up on the cool arc and not the gives you psychic damage arc but we'll see So this is what this one this is this one okay, okay give me this I'm gonna say your jelly uh well just you wait it'll get a lot more fricked up real soon It's like you took looking for a while after image you close your eyes. It's, oh, yeah, 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 that stuff. Or what about the ones where it's like you have to look at it a certain way and then you can see it like flip to a different image? I remember those pissing me off. They they were like popular for people to share on Twitter for a while. And I just remember feeling stupid because I like couldn't get the image to like flip. I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm dumb. I can't. This doesn't work for me. <laughs> Does anybody else remember that? There's like some type of image where it's like a bunch of dots or whatever. You can make it flip to something else. Oh, that's cool. The shadow art cannon. That's neat. it's also really good i'm just really excited to pivot to 3d more that's still my current goal is like get ahead of bills enough that i can experiment with 3d and then like pivot my patreon to be like mainly about 3d stuff because it's just so much more viable in terms of like asset reuse and stuff like that you can get so much more out of like everything you make because it's it's lifespan is just so much longer never made much with 3d there's so much you can do i've i've like <laughs> i haven't had the time for it recently but i've had so much fun fucking experimenting with all the crazy shit you can do in 3d it's it's really dramatic how much you can do it's so neat 3d is super fucking cool
very excited to keep jiggling that as I can. Well, so the way that I see it from the research that I've done, because I've done a lot of research about what works for furry creators because it's very pertinent to my day to day. Uh, and it seems like if you're going to go the not safe for work route, uh, one of the most consistently successful uh, things on like subscription support platforms like Patreon or Subscribestar or whatever, one of the things that's the most consistently successful is 3D not safe for work animations, especially ones that end up having uh, sound added in as well. That seems to be one of the most consistently up there types of things. From what I've seen at least. Oh. Demon creature in a VRC base and currently on tap market to publish monster VRC base like that. Yeah, and I super want to. Uh I definitely think I will. But uh that's like one of those like that's gonna require a pretty hefty chunk of time investment to get it there. And it doesn't immediately pay dividends until it's like already there, you know. So that sits on the, we will do it eventually, but does not feel viable right now sort of deal. Is this where I just start color sampling and say, fuck it? It kind me of likey shiny like things. Me that. wanting not to stress about food or oh. shelter or medicine. -y. Me likey shiny things. Me not to want to stress about food or shelter or medicine. -y. Thank you, anonymous. Whoever, whoever, or whomever's plural. Thank you. It really means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to make it happen. This is Gar wearing face paint. Yeah, it's Gar Gar looking funky for sure. But that's part of the process. We have not reached the unfucking stage yet, so we are still in the the it's fucked stage. fortunate thing about it is because it's painting i can just paint over shit if i don't think it looks good i just fucking paint over it dude gonna look really fucking weird at the end but who knows maybe i'll like it
Oh, all right. Catch you later, Vol. Thanks for hanging out. Heart emoji. Have a good schnooze. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate having you here. Aug. How's it going, Sofa? How are you? How's it going? How's it going? How's your Tuesday? Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Oh, big pain death. Hell yeah. Long Escuela day. Your EP. Well, I hope you get to chill out. Have a good relax. Have a good chill vibe sesh. Aug, aug, aug. This is where we start getting a little bit goofy with it, a little bit coisy, a little bit wacky, a little bit silly. I'm so 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 far. I've been having such a fucking time this week. This whole week has been a little bit psycho for me, but I'm doing what I can, gamer. I'm doing what I can. That's what's important. I am continually. Every night after night, day after day, night after night, I am pulling myself out of the rabbit's hat over and over and over again. I am generating <laughs> momentum exclusively internally, and it's very exhausting, and I'm hoping to have some external factors fall into place soon enough, but it has not been in the cards for the past like week and a half, and it's been rough on me, but I am, I am trying. Boy, am I trying. Any luck with the YCH? Not at all. Uh, so I tried repackaging it with some other ones, uh, and that also has not had any luck yet. So, unfortunate, but, uh, I don't know, lingering and feeling bad about it doesn't actually give me any new information or make me better off in any way. So I try really hard to not get too down in the dumps and stuff when my art doesn't sell. Because, like, I feel I have a vague amount of, like, 
confidence in my skill and that like I don't think my art's not selling because my art is like dog shit or anything. Uh but it's just really hard when there's like not a lot of variables to like isolate. Or there rather there there's so many variables that isolating any of them feels almost impossible. Uh so it's like really hard to say like what what is the defining factor in whether or not something works out for me, you know? In terms of whether or not things sell. Hard to feel like you can look at it and be like, oh, I know exactly what variable in this crazy equation is the reason why this didn't work out. I really wish it was though, because like I have the energy and drive to continue to improve and like make changes and uh if i felt like i had the knowledge of oh it's this thing in exactly it, this is the thing that i needed to do different i feel like i would immediately be able to execute but it's just like there's so many variables involved that knowing what the fuck that thing is is very challenging <sighs> Yeah, I definitely think there's a factor in that, like, it's tax season, people are not, this is not the most lucrative time of the year for having, <laughs> selling a luxury good in general. So yeah, that's definitely, definitely a factor for sure. I'm so scared to look at this, dude. This is gonna look so fucking strange the second that we take it back into color. So strange. That's okay. That's what. That's the fun, right? That's the fun of it. It's gonna be goofy, and we're just gonna have to enjoy that. Enjoy the goof. Quirky little bits of bounce lighting, maybe? A little bit goofy with it, a little bit coy with it. A little bit quirky. Oh, we got so many freaking colors in here, dude. Got 
crazy colors. Fucking nutty colors, bro. Give me this shit. Get in there. Do some fucking cross hatching on things. A little bit nuts with it. Oh yeah, give me fucking highlights on the teeth, bro. On the fucking chompers. What are we doing? What am I doing? Who knows, bro? Who knows? Not me. I don't know. Do you see a nose anywhere on this dragon? Not me. No nose. And we get to fucking paint the main in after, dude. Holy, holy smoke. Be nuts, bro. Alright, we've got black sclera too, so let's fucking get that black sclera in here. Oh, hey crow, what's up? Hey sphere, what's poppin'? How are you doing, crow? How was the end of your schwerk day? Hope it was good for you, gamer. Welcome back. Your oh, steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Heart emoji, heart emoji. Enjoy that crow. Want to work on some art as well? Fuck yeah, dude. Get in there. Get in there. Very good, very good, very good. Derg. Hey Sparrow. How are you? How are you? We looped the track, made it so far. Oh, um, um, um. Is that really in there? I guess it is. I guess it is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Doing all right. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. I am, uh, I am coping today. Today is, today is copium day. I'm coping. Uh, but I am I'm doing pretty well with my coping. I am continuing to pull myself out of the hat each day. You know what? It's, it's been going okay. Thanks, Azormic. Appreciate that.
Happy dork. Yeah. Very important to keep your dragons as happy as you can. This is a self portrait. Yeah, this is going to be a gar. It's going to be a, a funny little garu. Garu dragon. Yag, yag, yag. Um, um, um. Is that middle horn what's hidden under the fluff? Middle horn? What's the middle horn? Yeah, it's because I'm going to draw the mane over that. That will soon be mane. Oh, whiskey, thanks for the follow. Chameleon horn? Nah. Alright. Speaking of, you know what, let's let's get the fucking markings in there, dude. Need this bitch. Oh. There we go, there we go. Uh, multiply. That's how we do. Who knows what the fuck this is going to look like. Who the fuck looks like not right. Yeah, there we go. Ah, ba 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 ba. Oh. 
<sighs> ah, Gary, you stream. Yeah. Hello. Also, hi, Roy. What's up? What's poppin'? Hello, 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 hello. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. How fucking psycho do you guys think this is gonna look when we turn the, the colors back on? Is it gonna be like <laughs> fucking insano shit? I'm so terrified, dude. It's gonna be so psycho, man. So terrified. Ah, insane oh shit. Hell yeah, Roy. Love to hear when people are working on art stuff. This is looking cute. Oh, thank you. All right, now we have to add main, 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 main time, main moment. This part can be under, and there will also be an over part. What software am I drawing this in? This is Photoshop. Hey, Zoramic. How are you, gamer?
Oh. Hotkey for doing the flippy. Oh, flipping horizontal. Yeah, flip horizontal. Very, very useful hotkey. Highly, highly, highly recommend binding or rebinding that if you don't already have it bound to something easy to hit. All right, this is where I have to decide which which direction Gar is facing. Am I am I left facing Gar or right facing Gar? Because this is gonna be a new icon. It's probably right facing Gar. Oh, right facing Gar. This is where we add the asymmetry in. So. Right facing Gar sounds about right. All right. Oh, another whole hour. Wow. How are we doing, gamers? What are you guys doing while I'm while I'm doodling? Got any chill stuff going on? What's your what's your primary vibe activity?
Oh. Hell yeah. What games do you play, Mama Wolf? What's Puyo? Tell me about Puyo, Roy. Yeah, that's one of the things that I was discussing with Riot at one point is that I'm like really bad at like hanging out in a Discord unless we're all playing like a game or I'm getting to watch somebody stream. I don't know. I think it's like ADHD stuff. I get like very understimulated if I'm not getting to uh goof on video games or whatever. Ugh. Oh, I sleep when you're there. Oh, yeah, my schedule's pretty nocturnal. Uh, mostly because I don't like being <laughs> I don't like being alone. My roommate currently works night shifts. I think I would go back to being conscious at normal human hours if my roommate were ever to get a different sort of job or a different job schedule at least. All right, time to whip out bright. You tried that content warning game last night? How was it? Did you have fun? Playing some RCT. What's RCT? That's fair, Viral. Fortnite, which would be fun to play with friends. Fortnite is definitely a play with friends type game from what I've seen. Or at least one that's greatly benefited by playing with friends.
Tuber voices and recording them in game and watching them at the end is very funny. Hell yeah. The game does seem like it would just be like a fucking blast with friends. Oh, it's funny as hell. Fuck yeah. Yeah, ma making funny content with your friends, the game, sounds like pretty instant success as far as my understanding would go. I don't know how you'd be able to fuck it up. It sounds like it'd just be fun. Big fluffy mane, dude. Big and fluffy and mane. All right, give me turbo bright. Yes, pet the mane. Very soft. Song. Um. 
Alright. He's so fluffy, dude. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. And yeah, start. Oh. Any long hair havers in chat? Anybody who has to fight the daily hair battle? That's me, dude. I am. I am always fighting the daily hair battle. Keep it all messy for now. Um, oh, oh, oh. All right. Detangler brush. Do those work? Like I have to spend so so I have I have like I don't know, a regular like horse hair brush. I don't boar bristle brush. I don't know. I have a fucking I have a normal brush. And I have to spend so much time battling against my hair to ever get it to fucking cooperate in the way that I want it to. Oh, <sighs> detangler brush. I'll have to look into it. If there's actual science behind it, then yeah, maybe that could that could help a little a little guard dragon like me. All right, gamers, you ready for the big reveal? This is where it's either going to look really good or really stupid. Are we ready? Are we ready? I don't think I'm ready.
All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh! Does not actually look that stupid. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. I like that. All right. Well. Let's put him in a hoodie. I'm gonna put him in a hoodie. First, we're gonna make the background a little bit more goofy. Then Wow, 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 wow. Do one of those. Then we're going to do the hoodie. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this.
Yeah, I've got I've got some some interesting redeems in here. I'm no I'm no jaw, but got some some funky stuff you can do. Scanning. Only short hair gang here. I have all, I guess a lot of people do have long hair. Mm -hmm. And it starts to curl, my hair gets crazy curly. Who is this lovely little gremlin? They look so familiar. Who knows? Who's to say? How are you doing, DK? How's your evening? Boom, 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 boom. A little EP, but positive. Positive is good. Glad to hear that.
Decent chunks of stuff done. That's that's all we can hope for, right? I can relate on the money front. Been like that for pretty much everybody I know for the past while. <sighs> um. Um. Now he's in a little hoodie. Look at him go. Wow. Wow. What do you? Yep. Now that's freaking colors, dude. That's a that's a gar with lots of different funky colors. Now, now we get to do the real funny, which is, uh, mess with it if we want to. Get a little bit coy
Ah, that's the eraser. Hello, Jonathan Brush. Oh. Oh, Oh, thank you, Logan. All right. What funky shit can we do here?
<laughs> You're real dramatic shit in here, huh? <laughs> oh my daddy how's it going gamer Interesting. Make it bigger. Oh. What do you guys think? Is this a, is this a good guard dragon? Slaps, hell yeah. Thank you. All right, dude. I will I will take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Give me Bada bum, bada bum. Hell yeah. All right, well, uh, I think that's probably going to be me done for today. I am going to go shwerk on some other commissions that I can't do on Twitch, but I'll be back tomorrow if my Sync Gamer, Sync Otter, is feeling well we'll be doing some dark souls together tomorrow so hope to see you guys here for that but yeah thank you so much for hanging out everybody hope you had a good time today i had a pretty banger time working on this stuff i think it came out really well uh if you want to hang out with me more you can type exclamation point discord or check the discord button down below it'll link you to the server we've got a lot of cool people in there we watch movies we hang out we play games we do vr chat pretty great 
Thanks, Ron. Uh, have fun with your boxing class. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, as I said. Uh, we're going to raid out, so if you could stick around for whoever I send you off to, I'm sure they would appreciate it. Big heart emoji. Thank you so much if you guys were here hanging out today and you stuck around for the whole thing. It means a lot to me. I want to give you guys all pat, pat, pat. I reach out. I get bigger on my on my little couch. Reach out. Pat. All right. We go to end card. I go raid somebody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you had a fun time. Hope you guys have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. Get some good snacks in, some good naps in, and I will see you later. Big thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon or by donating or subbing to the channel. It's what lets me keep my funny little gamer lights on and pay for my bills, so it really does mean the world to me. I super, super duper appreciate it. Let's go say hi to some Uber. What Uber are we gonna go say Sometimes I Oh, we can catch we can catch Gaby right at the start of their stream. Go say hi to Gaby. Some big heart emoji for me, and I'll see you guys later. about that, huh?